In this video, I'll walk you through some of the best ways to use Notion buttons. This new feature has been saving me a ton of time and I'm here to help you do the same. The first use case is for recurring tasks. Say every week you have the same set of tasks to clean your room, get groceries and do meal prep. With a click of a button, you can add all of these tasks to your database. Let's rewind a little and show you how I did it. You first add a new button by typing slash button. There are a few things you can customize such as the button text and the icon. You can then see the different steps you can add to the button. For this case, I'll use the step Add Page and then choose my task database. After choosing my database, I can now preview the task name and its properties. I will then duplicate this step for my other weekly tasks and that's about it. Next up, we can have a button to easily reschedule all our overdue tasks. This time, I will use the edit page tab and then choose my task database. Next, I will add some filters to find all my overdue tasks. And then choose the property I want to update. I will update the schedule date to today and give it a high priority since it's already overdue. And that's how you create a button to schedule all your overdue tasks. Next, we can have a button to add default tasks to our projects. This is likely one of the best use cases for buttons. An example would be for a video project where you have the same set of tasks each time like writing the script, recording the video, and editing the video. And you can now add all those tasks in a click of a button. To set this up, we will need to add a button to our page template. I'll first go into editing my project template and then add a button and give it a name. I'll use the step Add Page and choose my task database. The important part is to add a project relation property and then assign it to this page. Depending on which project page where this button is clicked, the task added will be linked to that project. You can repeat this for as many page templates as you need for different projects. And that's how you add default tasks with buttons. Next, we can have a button to check off our daily habits. While this might not be a game changer as our previous use case, it's definitely easier to click this button when you're on mobile or smaller screens. For this button, we will use the Edit Page tab and filter for the happy page assigned to today's date. And then simply choose one of the habit checkbox property. And that's how you can use buttons for your habit tracker. Last but not least, we can use buttons to quickly capture new items. If you use Notion for many things and you have lots of database, this can be useful for capturing different types of database items to your workspace. In this case, I'm using it to capture new expenses to their respective category in a click. For this button, we will use the Add Page tab, choose our Expenses database, and preview the date and category property. Thereafter, we will add an Open Page tab to open up this newly created page for us to key in the name and amount. And that is 5 different ways you can use Notion buttons. I hope you found this video helpful and see you on the next one.